First, only on two tonight, a soldier's artwork now labeled contraband. He creates designs like this out of decommissioned AK-47 rifles and then sells them to make a living. But just recently, he flew to Houston for an art show, and he says despite having the necessary paperwork for his artwork, his work was confiscated at Bush Intercontinental Airport, customs, and the ATF telling him those guns are not allowed in our country. Channel 2's Jennifer Bauer joins us live with the exclusive story tonight. Jen. You know, this artist says he's confused. He wasn't able to bring non-working AK-47s into this country, but he says after only five minutes on his phone, he was able to find one and buy one that does work. Underneath these beautiful butterflies and these dollar bills is an AK-47. These are $30,000 pieces of art. The artist, Brand Simonson from London, was inspired by his time in the British Army. And turn it of something from fear into something of beauty and intrigue. So the whole process would be to disarm the AK-47. Brand says the guns are harmless. He buys them with all of their working parts removed. He was hoping to sell his art at an art show here in Houston. He even did one as a tribute to Texas. But his masterpieces are stuck at Bush Airport Customs. Brand shipped the completed pieces from the UK, but when they arrived in the US, it was a no-go. ATF, um, they called Washington and they basically said no. Now he's scrambling to recreate his artwork in time for the show. Brand was able to buy a real AK-47 online, which makes no sense to him. I could get a real AK-47 that kills people still, but I couldn't get one that's just a piece of artwork into the country. Now, in a statement from U.S. Customs, a spokesperson does tell us they are not allowed to comment on specific shipments, but she does say that some require a license or even a permit from various government agencies in order to be imported. Brand tells us they filed all kinds of paperwork. That's why they thought they were going to be okay. We're live in Montrose tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News.